Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My year for kids um, So for our lesson today We are going to learn um, The same topic Which is eating right And our main focus is Page 53 So before we start our class I hope you can recite Dua by yourself Okay, let's get started. Before we learn our new topic, I want you to open page 53, your textbook page 53, and write down this worksheet in your exercise book and listen to the audio attached and complete the questions given. Okay? So, what I want you to do is, I want you to copy and write this exercise. Uh, copy and write this exercise. And I want you to listen to the audio attached and complete the question given. Okay, dengar audio yang Miss Hana bagi dekat YouTube link tu. Kemudian lengkapkan latihan ini. Okay, so... So basically, this is the exercise, okay? So you just need to write 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? Now, I want you to look at this one, okay? Okay, look at this one, page 53. So, this is a speaking skill, okay? Before this, you have learned about countable and uncountable nouns, can? You have learned. So, if, let's say, uh, countable is something that you can count, boleh kira. If you say uncountable, it is something that you cannot count. Okay, so countable, for example, fruit. Can you count fruit? Yes. Sweets. Can you count sweets? Yes. Bars of chocolate. Can you count? Yes. Hours. Can you count hours? Yes, you can count hours. One hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. How about minutes? Can you count minutes? Yes, you can count. Now, can you count milk? No, you cannot. Lemonade is part of drinks too. Okay, can you count lemonade? No. So, if you can count you this much and many is, uh, we call it as Quantifier, benda yang uh, untuk kita kira sama ada contohnya how much, berapa banyak, how much, how many. But the different is much is only for uncountable nouns, whereas many is used for countable nouns. Maksudnya, misalnya kat sini. Much ni quantifier yang boleh digunakan untuk uh, benda yang tidak boleh dikira. Contohnya, how much milk do you drink every day? How much lemonade do you drink every day? But over some things that you can count, for example, bars of chocolate, you can count, right? So, you cannot use how much. Instead, you have to use how many. How many bars of chocolate do you eat every day? How many hours do you exercise every day? You get me, oh, you get me or not? Okay, let's look at other example. Yeah? Okay, so, this is quantifiers. Means, tell us how many or how much. Okay, dia tak bagi, do not give the exact amount. Kita tak boleh, kita macam kalau if you want to count uncountable nouns, kita tak boleh nak kira. So, apa yang boleh digunakan adalah perkataan quantifier ni. Many, much, some, any, okay, like people at the mall kan. How many people at the mall? Okay, kalau orang you can count kan. Over 100 people, 1000 people, 2000 people, you can count. So, the quantifier... Use is many. For example, there are many people at the mall. Okay, dia sama ada untuk, uh, tengok ni. Ketiga, use for countable or uncountable nouns. 
used before a noun. Okay, jadi quantifier ni dia mesti sebelum noun. Okay, noun. What is noun? Things, people, apa? Apa lagi? Places. So, let's look at the first example. There are many people at the mall. Macam Miss Hannah kata tadi. Many hanya untuk countable nouns. Ben nouns yang boleh dikira. People ni boleh kira tak? Boleh. Sebab tu, there are many people at the mall. If let's say I said, there are much people at the mall. It is wrong. Tak betul, salah. So, tengok second example. I did not eat much rice for lunch. Rice. Can you count rice? No, cannot. So, rice is uncountable nouns. When you see uncountable nouns, the quantifier must be much. Okay, so yang this one. There is some snow on the ground. Okay. Some can be used on both sides. Okay. Some boleh guna untuk uh, countable ataupun uncountable. Depends on the situation. Depends on the sentence. Okay. Yang ni, there isn't any jam in the bottle. If you see the word isn't, tidak ada. It must always use any. Okay, kalau ada perkataan isn't, mesti any. Okay, let's look at the next one. Okay, so let's look at the first one. Many, okay, here tengok. Many, use for countable nouns. Okay, many hanya untuk benda yang boleh dikira. So you have to see the nouns at the sentence. For example, I need many eggs for the cake. Okay, many eggs. Many eggs. So, you can count eggs, right? So, we use many. There weren't many people at the party. Look at the noun people. Can you count people? Yes. So, you use many. Are uh, there many animals at the zoo? Can you count animals? Yes. That's why we use many. Let's look at the next one. March. Okay. Is used for uncountable nouns. Okay, untuk benda yang tidak boleh dikira. For example, sugar, sand, money. Okay, so there is too much sugar in the tea. Second, there isn't much sand in the shoe. How much money do you have? Okay, money is uncountable noun, ya. Yeah? Tak boleh dikira. Okay. So, some, look at some, used for both countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, so for example, I sold some cakes today. Would you like some biscuits? Okay, some ni uh, beberapa. So, you have to see the words. Ah, uh, Contohnya kalau misalnya nak tukar ayat ni kan sugar kan. Can I have some sugar? Boleh tak saya nak ada uh, beberapa uh, beberapa sugar? Kita bukanlah kita ni nak cakap beberapa sugar macam tu. Can I, okay. Eggs eh. Can I have some eggs? Uh, maksudnya boleh guna untuk countable dengan uncountable. Can I have some water? Water, can you? Count water cannot. Tapi boleh digunakan. Some ni. Maksud dia sedikit. Boleh tak saya nak sedikit water macam tu? Uh, saya... Menjual sedikit cakes today. Okay. Understand or not? Okay. The next one. Any. Use for countable and uncountable nouns. Ni dua-dua pun boleh. Cumanya, it is used for negative statements and questions. For example, there aren't any birds on the tree. You have to see. The word are not and isn't. So, it is negative statement. Okay. Negative statement mesti ada not. Isn't, aren't. Kalau there is ni, dia jadi positive statement. Okay? Understand? Year 4. So, I will give you... Okay. So, what you have to do is, you have to complete the exercises given. Copy and write the exercise A, B, C, D and E in your exercise book. Okay. Di sana tak nak awak print. I want you to write in your exercise book. And I do not expect you 
will be finishing your work in just one day. Tidak. You have English today and Friday you don't have English class and you also have Saturday and Friday to complete your work. But you have to write down your attendance on the Google form. Okay? So, uh, your exercise A, B, C, A, B, C, D and E, I will give it in the WhatsApp group. Please check it out. If you don't understand, you can always uh, WhatsApp me personally. Personally. Okay. Thank you.